Hello, this is Steve Olson from, from It's a CAD World. In a previous video, we created the eye properties editor to give the user to fill in all the eye properties and then also create a rule to check and see if they filled all them out. One issue that some companies have is they've changed what eye properties are important to them over time. In this example, you'll see that I have a plate that we've used uh, for a number of years. Due to the, our change and what eye properties are important to us, this file does not have the customer number or job number. So what we can do in this case is we can create an external rule that will add those I properties to any file that we find and also we can add a button to this box that will give us the ability to click and run this rule on any file that we need. So let's take a look at those changes. First I'm going to create uh, the appropriate external iLogic rule. We're going to call this one I Property Update. This rule is very simple. I'm just going to go to my I Properties here, go to the Custom section, and again, those rules or those properties were called Job Number and Customer. So all I'm really doing is creating a rule. I'm going to make a, basically a copy of that line for the customer property. So basically I have a rule that just basically sets those values to an empty property, which is just uh, a quotations with zero with nothing in between them. Um, in 2012 and 2013, any rule that it sees this type of structure in it, if the property does not exist, it will add it. If you are using Inventor 2011 or a previous version, you will have to run some other rule that will verify that the property is there and if it's not there, it will create it. But since I'm using 2013, a statement like this is all that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. It's going to actually run the rule on this. So it's it's at this point in time, if I check my I properties, those are there. You can see I can fill those in. If I go to my global form, those will be there as well. So I mentioned also that I'd like to add to that I property editor dialog box a button to run that external rule. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to right click on my I properties editor button and tell it to edit that form. On my rules tab here, under my external rules, I have my I property update. I'm just going to left click and drag it from here onto my form. And you'll see it adds it. See over here, it will also add uh, that button in my preview. So let's go ahead and say okay to this. Um, it's not going to be worthwhile to see it on this file, but I have another file here that does not have those properties. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to open up a file here that I have called Angle. You'll notice that in my I properties, I do not have those custom ones. If I bring up my I property editor, you'll see that those two properties are grayed out. I cannot enter the values in for them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this I property update. You'll see now it's out of those properties. I can fill this in. And there we go. Any rule or any file uh, will be able to access this form because, again, this form is an external global form. And it would be available to add any of these I properties to any legacy file that my company may have. Thank you very much for watching this video from It's a CAD World. Uh, please look for other iLogic videos here on It's a CAD World.